Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. In the last episode, we finished up Dragon Roost Cavern, and we got our first pearl, the Den's Pearl. And with me today is... Sonic Ghost. <laughs> I, I asked Lester to help, uh, help me with commentary on this episode because, well, we're going to be getting into the meat of, well, starting the meat of things in Wind Waker. Um... If we got, we only got like a real taste of it on the way over here to Dragon Roost. Uh, the first thing we really want to do is go over here and pull out our Wind Waker, and we want to go down south. We need to play that song that we got the last episode, the Wind's, Re Wind's Requiem, and we need to make the wind turn south. So right here. Now this is your first time actually, like, well, you've probably seen plenty of footage of Wind Waker HD, but like actually watching. For me, at least, right? Well, from your end, yeah. Because I've seen uh, plenty of it be played by other people, whether it be speedrunners or let's players. So, yeah, I've already seen a good amount of the game. Okay, so now, um, right now, we're actually settling south. And, <laughs> you know, it's a funny thing. Um, I'm so... Oh! Forgot about this. Boy! Hold it right there, small fry! I don't know where you got your mitts on that C chart you got there, but it looks to me it's pretty much got nothing but C's drawn on it. That's pathetic. In fact, it's almost an insult to call that thing a C chart, if you ask me. What's the matter, Small Fry? I'm just trying to be nice here. I'm telling you that you've got a problem, and you do. Don't give me that stupefied look. It makes you look like you ought to be in diapers. Just listen, okay? I'm here to teach you to what you need to know about this island. So open up your C chart, make it snappy. So this is an introduction to a certain character that's gonna be at every island in the game, pretty much. He, this is a, well, he'll say his name here. There's a real peculiar cave towards the backside of Dragon Roost Island. Yes, a real, pe yeah, real peculiar. But I doubt you'll ever get to see it, Small Fry, unless you manage to sprout wings and fly, that is. Because you won't be getting there otherwise. That's all the time all I can teach you, Small Fry. But I will do this. Since I'm feeling so generous, I'll send my word to all my brethren living in the islands of the Great Sea. Good bunch of fish. If you see any fish leaping out of the water, then you'll sail near an island, sail up, and spread baits out of the water's surface. Trust me, it's good advice, Fry. See, the baiting process allows you to get chart on the island, along with any info that might be used for you. I highly recommend that you make a habit of doing so. You, see, you're definitely going to need the reliable sea chart to help you search the things out in the sea. I can't emphasize that enough, Fry. Right? You need a well-drawn chart. You don't get it for every island you come across. It'll just be bigger hassle for you later on. Now, don't say I never did anything for you, Fry. Right? Boy there! Boy, you there, you kingly red lion guy. That's it. I repaid my debt. I'm done. You take care of the rest. <laughs> Anyways, that is, um, Fishman. Um. Yes, that is literally his name, going, Fishman. Yeah, his name is Fishman. <laughs> okay. Um, he is practically going to be, like, drawing up. If you guys look at your map right now, there's really nothing on it. And he drew our first island right there, Dragon Roost Island. Well, if we go to every island, there's going to be a fishman on it. We are going to fill out this entire chart. I'm going to be making a habit of this, by the way. So I'm going to be doing this throughout the entire Let's Play until the sea chart is completely filled. Um, when I was younger, I actually had a nickname for that guy. And it's just based on what he says whenever you, whenever he comes up, whenever you, whenever you uh, feed him bait. I just called him Smafish because he goes Smash. Yeah, he tiny. always does that. <laughs> I always call him Smafish. But anyways, um, the first thing first, actually, what I'm going to be doing, and this is why I bought a lot of bait. Yeah. At the beginning of the game. Because each and this every single time exactly you want to fill up your map and you want to use the fishman, you need bait. So be prepared if you're going to fill up your map to have a lot of bait in your inventory because you're going to need it. Okay, well, anyways, it looks like we're coming up to a gigantic volcanic-looking island. 
We're going to be tackling this island later. I just am going to... There's actually a couple things we need to do here before we do anything. Well, you can't do anything there. If you try to step on can't the island, you will burn you. yourself and then get shoved back to your boat. Yeah. But anyways, I'm coming up to here to fish fan to fill it out. But anyways, I'm going to be showing you that here in a second. Um, I'm not going to be going over his little tips. Um, whenever the time comes, I'll tell you what he's talking about. I'll just kind of give you the gist of it, because it's just a line of dialogue, and there's a lot of these. Um, yeah, practically exactly. what he's saying here is we, we can't really get into that island. But there's the power to freeze the lava a couple of squares away. But that's not going to be for a while. <laughs> but just remember that. Um, there is one thing we want to do here at Fire Island. This is what the island's called. It's called Fire Island. Um, if I do remember, there is a submarine. Do you remember that, Lester? In Fire Island? Let me actually check, because I got a map of it. That shows pretty okay. much all the locations of like submarines and such. So I had to look that up. Okay. Um, that platform we're just going to completely ignore for right now. Because we don't really have the resources to do so. I'm going to be sailing around a lot trying to find this because I do remember that there is no 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 it's not not that island. no it's not it's fire not, it, it's, it's like two islands down from where you are and I, I know which one you're talking down, about now I forgot I'm sorry about that anyways um let's keep going south here <laughs> I'm so used used to the boat going a lot faster than that is because there's an item that makes the boat go a lot faster I've been using that thing like ridiculous amount but we won't be getting that for a while yeah so I mean, technically at this point in the game you can get it now but you have to go back to windfall and it's really up to you if you're going back there yeah i'm not gonna waste time with that though but anyways um as you guys can see that the weather kind of changes after a while and that's one thing i really like is the is the fact that it starts raining and stuff like that every now and then <laughs> always do but anyways, we're coming up to our next island here. Um, I think we talked to these guys already. If I remember correctly, yeah, we did. They don't have really anything else to say. They just tell you about the treasure charts whenever you get a chance to. Yeah, they don't have anything else to say. I forgot about that. It only works one time. They only give you one chart. <laughs> I always think they give you two. No, they only give you one. Uh, this island is going to be much important later on. But uh, anyways, let's get up to Fishman here and get a, another island added to our chart here. Shman? Um, what is his information about this one? I think he mainly just this... talks about the significance of this place later. Yeah, I think it does too. If I remember correctly, let's just let's just take a gander at it. No, he just tells us about fairies. That's pretty much. Okay. <laughs> oh, close enough, I guess. And, um, he just told us another hint that I just now realized. Oh, there is another enemy. That's called an Akarok. Quite different than the Akaroks we're used to in the Le other Legend Zelda series. Those oh, are man. actually octopuses. Those ones actually also shoot bombs? No other Akaroks shoot bombs? Yeah. So, these that ones are probably the most deadly Akaroks you can find. Well, technically, nope. that's one of the two variations of them, though. Mm hmm. Well, let's get another uh, bait on here because now it just ran out. Um, this island right here. I do believe that the item that I'm looking for is on this island. Yep. Well, it's this not on a, this island. Well, no, no, it's on a submarine, but it, yeah, you're coming up to it. Yeah. Man, I'm so used to the boat going a lot faster than this. <laughs> Gosh, I'm, I, I'm, I know I'm being a little really picky. Yeah, there it is. I see it now. Now this island is called Bomb Island. We're not going to be coming back until, well, we have bombs. Yeah, can, can you <laughs> guess what you need to complete the stuff here? I mean, it's not in the name or anything. Yeah, so it's not going to be a big deal anyways. But anyways, uh, here's another schmaffish information. I think he just tells you about what's on the island and what you need for it. That's pretty much all his little hints for are is just essentially just doing that. Yeah, true. No, no, this is something else. Uh, he is talking about an an ancient ship called the Ghost Ship. 
Yeah, you're we're not, not going to be seeing that until, like, like, near the end of the game, so... We're not going to worry about it. it. Yeah, don't worry about that. But anyways, this is the thing I was talking about. This is a submarine. There's various submarines around the Great Sea, and they all hold really good items in here. This is going to be our first one here. Uh, here at Bako Bawa. I'm going to steal your joy pendant using the grappling hook. There we go. You can actually... I don't know if they did that, if they changed that in Wind Waker HD, but... I don't think you can grind off of off of uh, Boca Bobbles like that like you can in the standard. Yeah, you can. Condition. I've seen people do yeah, it. You yeah, you, you can still do a trick of just lead the area, come back, and then you can grab joy pens from them again. They respawn them. Ow. <laughs> but anyways, we're going. This is um, whenever you're in a submarine. Usually, the main topic is to kill all the enemies in the submarine. Yeah, usually. Oh. You might have that rare occasion where you just have to climb a ladder. But that's very you rare. Oh, that's not gonna hit him. Yeah, uh, <laughs> that's why I did the first time I played. Like, will this reach? It never works unless the rat's right in front of your face. Yeah, they always run really fast. And the Rapple Hulk only has oh. such a amount they can go to. <laughs> Actually, you just had to kill all the Boca Bollins. You yeah, didn't have not to kill the rats. The rats are just an annoyance. Just the Boca Bollins. Yeah. Boca Bollins. Okay. Boca Bollins, yeah. Okay, hold on a second. I'm going to get rid of these guys. These guys are annoying. The first part. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, when you actively go and try to kill the rats, it gets kind of annoying. Just because they take forever to get off the roof. But they yeah. do give a lot of money. Yeah. But anyways, let's open this chest. <laughs> Inside this chest is our second empty bottle. This is going to be very important to have. There's four total in the entire game, and we got our second one. Yeah, it's good that you get the second bottle so early, because some other Zelda games you have to wait a while to get your next bottle. So it's good to always get at least two bottles as soon as possible. Yeah. I actually managed to hit that rat with that freaking barrel. Yeah, you, you just had like the perfect aim without knowing it. Yeah. Anyways, um, I do believe I usually skip up these platforms at this moment because, well, don't really have an item at the moment to completely destroy them. I mean, we can actually go up on. I'll, you know what? I'll go ahead and do that. Yeah. I'll the, go there's also the thing is a lot of these. Don't really have good rewards. Like you can get rewards from some of these. Some can be like heart pieces or rupees or just little items for your spoils bag. But usually you're probably getting something like maybe money or items. It's that rare occasion huh. you'll find one that has a heart piece. Yeah. You know, might as well kind of grind for joy pendants. And <laughs> but anyways, um, usually platforms don't really give you very much. I I'm, was fortunate enough they actually did something because well. Usually, what they do is you probably see these cannons underneath these pla these platforms here. Well, we don't have a way to destroy these cannons yet, but um, later we will. So, actually, there's a fairy right there. Holy crap! Get the bottle. Get the bottle. Yeah. There we go. We we'll put a fairy in a bottle. Now, when your life energy runs out and you collapse from exhaustion, the fairy will replenish your strength. Don't. What I always do is I don't. You can you can use it uh, early to kind of get like eight hearts, I think. But keep a hold on to them because you never know when you know things go bad and then you just die. Oh, really? <laughs> that's like the main use of fairies because before in past Zelda games, specifically Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, they would heal pretty much all your hearts, so that was cheaper yeah. to get than say like a red or a blue potion. But after that, starting Wind Waker. They nerfed it only to eight hearts. You pretty much just want to keep it around for just a quick revival. You don't want to uh, waste it. I will say that that was actually kind of a waste of a trip because all that was there is um, a red rupee, which was 20. And if you guys see, I'm capped out at the moment. Yeah, so, so that was kind of a waste of time. Yeah, that was just a waste of time. Hey, I got some joy pendants out of it, at least. But anyways, we're nearing our next destination. If the cutscene will ever activate, it, you have to really get into this area <laughs> yeah, before it really activates. There we go. See what I mean? So you have to be like pretty much right next to the island. Yes. Do you not see what rises up on the horizon? That is where you must go, Link. The forest haven. 
So now we are at our next area that we need to go to. I guess this is the most the the next major area, I should say. Yeah, I was about to say next major area. We ran yeah. through three other islands at this point. <laughs> yeah. It may appear as though this was once great tree rising far above the ocean surface, but this is a sacred place. It is inside the grotto you will find the spirit of the of the earth, the great Deku tree. I've always called it Dooku. But then again, I was like, that's not Count Dooku from, like, Star Wars and stuff like that. I, I kind of, like, after I went back and watched, like, Ocarina of Time, Let's Plays and everything, I was like, I've been saying this wrong for the longest time. <laughs> you must speak with the Deku tree and receive from him the sacred gem known as the Pharaoh's Pearl. I fear that Ganon's vile hand may have already reached the most sacred of sanctuaries. Go forth with caution, Link. Okay, so we're here at Forest Haven. And, um, as you guys can see, the Wiggling Jet mailbox here. So let's go ahead and talk to it. Good evening. Letters for Link. We have one letter. Here is your letter. To my son, Superior. Thank you so much for help looking after my boy. This isn't much, but I hope you'll accept it all the same. I politely request your continued kindness towards my son. Kashiko, Beito's mother. Okay, so this is what our reward for getting, uh, for uh, completing that mini game back on Dragon Roost Island, a piece of heart. Uh, you get this in the mail from the assistant's mother after you deliver the letter. Yeah, so don't now feel like you might miss out on this because a lot of first time players will do it and not see this letter for a while, so just wait. It'll come eventually. Yeah. Yeah, so now we've got five uh, pieces of heart right now. We're starting our next heart container. But actually, I think I'm going to end the episode here. So in the next episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker, we are going to go through the Forest Haven here and try to find if we can get that next pearl. So we'll see you guys in the next episode.